Welcome to what I would call a color observation. So I found an article about the DJI Zen Muse X7 that this photographer had shot and I wanted to review how they graded it. So at the start of this video, it says all the shots were taken by the Inspire 2 and the Zen Muse X7. So I want to review how it handled the color. So this shot I like. Highlights are blown out back there, but that's what happens when you point at the sun. I love the detail in the clouds on the left-hand side. Uh, I think it's really good. The uh, low light capabilities here are really nice. It looks very clean, um, a bit saturated. Uh, so there's some nice detail here in the trees, but mm, the balance of the shot doesn't really like. Um, operating shot, bottom right-hand corner, but that's not color. Uh, the white balance kind of throws me on this shot. So this is a lovely shot. Highlights look great. Definitely the photographer's style, definitely a lot of saturation. Uh, I love the clouds in the background here. Uh, the way they pop over the landscape, it's beautiful. Uh, this shot, I love the golden fall, like the golden clouds in the background. I think it's beautiful. Uh, highlights kind of blend out. But the, the clouds are nice. Uh, the landscape in front is in... Mm. So here's the shot that... Uh, I'm just going to pause it real quick. So this is the shot. This is the reason that I started recording this. Was up in the hillside. Up here. So all the detail in the city, that holds. Uh, you can see the lights in the rooms. You can see the snow. You can see the light. Like everything here... When it gets crunched down, like, there's a little darkness in the, the trees here, so, you know, is this a shrub, is this a tree, I don't know, but you can tell that, that that's a car, that's car headlights, and that's all fine, but it's when we get up into the hillside, where at the base of the hill, you see this is snow, these are trees, this is snow, these are trees, this is snow, and then right around, I don't know, like halfway up, you just like, it just turns into this bluish blob. It's just, there's no more detail. And it's, it just, it, it goes into just, it's like, is this snow? Is this blue snow? Why is it blue? Like, why, like, I understand that the white balance is tinting towards blue. I mean, I can see it in the snow here. You know, that that's the grade that she was going for. But it, it's, it's this hill on the right hand side where it's just, Blah. Like, there's just, is it blue? Like, what, what, what's going on? I, I mean, at the top of it, it it's still, it's still blue, and... I, I just, I just couldn't... I mean, it's just all over here. It just, it looks like it just fell apart. And it's just, I, I can't tell if it's the grade... If it's the effect, it's just like, even in motion. There we go. Even in motion, it stays the same. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I, it just boggled my mind. So, let's see what else we have. So this looks beautiful. This looks great. Still on the top left-hand side, you have that bluish snow. And it's just, the, I, it, does, is there not enough detail? Is that what it actually looks like? I can't... I mean, it, it looks like the rock side on the right-hand side. Probably just need to learn more about mountains. But this is a beautiful shot. The blues are nice. The city pops with the orange. Love this shot. The background is beautiful. There's action in the foreground. Uh, all the lights are popping. I mean, it, you just, it's just how you lens it. This is a beautiful shot. Love the clouds. The pink's great. Uh, the foreground action is really nice. Um, again, it's all how you lens it. Uh, this is beautiful shot. Uh, the detail in the water looks amazing. Clouds in the background hold all the detail. Uh, blue at the highlight, but pointing at the sun as always. Uh, nice little lighthouse, person walking around. Uh, again, blue highlights, but she's focusing on the person, so it doesn't matter. Uh, beautiful detail in the water. Uh, yeah, the mountains look amazing. Uh, the, the blues hold, the highlights in the blues in the sky hold, which is really nice to see because that easily could have just been blown out information. Uh, she's going for the town here. Everything's golden hour. The mountains in the background look lovely. Um, 
very blue. Mountains in the background look lovely. Uh, foreground, eh. um, yeah. Backgrounds again, very postcard, very vivid, very saturated, very saturated. Just uh, that whole look. Um, this is the photographer style, and and I and I and I see it. Um, at the very lovely mountains in the background. Uh, you know, towns silhouetted. So I mean, the great the great holds really well. And see here in this shot, I don't see the blue in the details. Love. The land here. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Clouds in the background are lovely. Blown the sun out again, though. Uh, not my bit favorite thing. But here, even even here, the detail in the mountains, the blueness isn't apparent as it is on that tree shot. This is a phantom shot. This is just, just, ugh, terrible. It's, this is, uh, meh. All right, baked heavily in the far mountainside. There's, it, are you going red? Are you going blue? What are you doing going between the mounds? I don't know. Okay, so here are the mounds. The detail holds in the trees here, and I, and I like this. This is what happens when you color, t uh, uh, color temperature white instead of what color temperature blue. Um, oh, see, there is some dampness here. Let me just pause for a second so you can see this. Um, it loses detail with the, the trees, but what's stranger is how dark this gets and it's not it's not that there isn't it, it, it's, it's just like the opposite of when the camera gets blown out that there's just too much information that it cannot resolve this tree clump in enough detail like it just turns into a black hole almost of loss of information i mean part of it is the grade when you push dark colors they can just kind of blotch a lot easier uh, but seeing it, I don't know. I, I feel like there should be it. It may be the grade considering, I mean, it's, it's almost like one of those things where it's like you, they didn't even save, uh, the whites here in this picture. Like there may be some highlight control, but you see the sun coming in here. It's a very strange. I mean, it looks like they just focused on the town right here, and they were just like, "We don't care about this hillside. We don't care about this background. Like, there wasn't anything to save. I, I mean, it's not the center of the frame. Like, I, she's doing a bottom thirds, but I just, I don't know. Um, it, the coloring in the trees, I understand that they're not exposing for it, but I am surprised at the lack of detail in the darker areas, but. See it in motion. All right, mountain. Beautiful, uh, lovely pink touches on the mountain. Um, there's lovely amounts of detail. Oh yeah. Um, God, it looks like a phantom shot again. I don't know why. But it's just the town in the bottom. Lovely shot, 45, long distance, beautiful sunstone. Uh, I think the orange is a little too saturated. It just kind of feels like it's painted on there. Um, lovely, but this is a phantom shot. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't say, I mean, it just doesn't speak to me. Um, beautiful shot. Uh, this is gorgeous. The detail in the backgrounds, the detail in the houses, the following of the, I mean, the color is amazing. Nailed it. Perfect. Yeah, that's what you, you just end on that and you're good.